Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. John Hall here. Yeah, this is Jay Hay John Hall. Action. My name is John Hall, and I like bikes. Hey guys, my name is John Hall. I've got here in my hands the new TRP DH7 downhill derailleur. I'm gonna take you through a couple features on it, and one of which is my favorite, the Hall Lock. What this does is essentially locks your B-bolt so that your derailleur's not slapping down and making a ton of noise back there. Just got an on-off switch here. Right there is off, there is on. It's also got a limiter of adjustability here. So if you want less tension on that and you want your derailleur to slap up and down and, and move, once it's on and engaged, you have an adjustability screw here, small two millimeters, and you can adjust that to where your derailleur uh, can move off the B-plate and be able to get your wheel in and out, no problem, without turning that lock off. Or you can lock it in so that thing doesn't move and your bike's completely silent. Like I said, just flip that switch up, flip it on. The next feature I wanna show you is another one of my favorites, and that's the ratchet clutch. It's got a nifty little on-off switch down here, real simple to flip back and forth. And when you know it's on, when you can hear the ratchet. On the back side, you have two adjustment screws, both two millimeters, which come factory set. And I usually don't have to touch that until the clutch begins to wear out or loosen up over time, which is a ton of riding. So that's not a feature you really need to worry about, but if you notice that your clutch loosens up over time, a small 16th to an eighth turn of each one of those equally will tighten your clutch right back up, adding to the longevity of your drivetrain system. The last feature that I'm excited about and that's gonna make your life a lot easier is a chain length indicator. This is gonna help you find the correct chain length when installing your new derailleur and chain. On the clutch, you're gonna find a graphic that looks like a single chain length. On the, on the cage, you're gonna find two chain lengths. What you're gonna do is just line them up in a little window together when finding or determining the length of your chain and cutting it. If you ever see me around or at any of the races, World Cups, national champs in the US, around the world, stop by, say hi, ask me any questions you want, I'll fill you in on anything that I can.